When it comes to customizing the DV theme, there's two places where you can do this. So here we are in the DV theme options. So there are a few things that we can come in here and customize. And some of them are, to be honest, very dated because this interface here has been out here for a very, very long time, a couple of years. Now, the other place where you can go in and customize is over here on the appearance. And then you go to themes and then you go to customize. So this gives you the ability now to go into the theme builder itself and customize things like fonts and so on. And again, uh, this interface, although it is uh, pretty much in line with the WordPress, it is also uh, dated. They haven't really updated quite a lot here. The main focus with uh, elegant themes was on the DV theme builder and the DV builder itself. But the theme itself, there isn't much that really changed here. So this is, you know, pretty much very old. So when we take Take a look now at uh, Astra Pro, you start to see a difference. So over here, you can see here we have these Pro modules. So let's activate all these and see what uh, they can do. So here we have our colors and background. We have typography. Now, if I just go into typography here and click on customize, you're going to notice that we have a similar interface here to what we had with um, DV, but there's way a lot more here to go in and customize. So let's just get rid of this here. So you can see here we have our presets. So it's very easy now for us to go in and choose our headings because these pairs are pretty much chosen for us already. But if you want to use your own fonts, you can always come over here, enter your body font over here. And this gives you access to the Google fonts as well. So if I click here on this drop down, you can see here we have all the fonts. And we can also customize pretty much everything. We also have the ability to set up our H1, H2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And you can also set up your margins. So this here has way more features. So again, if you go into the colors here, you notice that the colors here are, the layout is way different. So we have uh, the labels here. So I like the fact that it tells us what these colors are. So when we come over here to the DV theme builder, in fact, let's go back to our colors. So you notice that if I just click back and go to color schemes, we don't have much to do here. So all we have is green, orange, and so on. But if we take a look at the color schemes here, this is pretty much way more powerful. So these colors here, if you see this global icon here, it means these are colors applying across the whole website. So we can add all our colors. And I like the fact that over here, the colors are actually labeled. So this is your accent color. This is your links. This is your uh, normal. And this is the hover. So you can see here that once you set everything up here, you are pretty much good to go with here as well website here we also have our surface color we also have our headings color now if you want to go in and customize the global palette you can just click here and then you can go in and set up all your colors that way so let's say we want to choose uh, color preset 5 you can see now it's loaded up here and everything has all changed and updated but i can always go in and change the color to whatever color i want now let's talk about the header builder. So this again is one thing that I really, really like about the Astra Theme Pro. So here we have our primary menu. Pretty much what you're seeing here is, is over here on the bottom. So if I wanted to add something here, we have this plus button and I can choose my button one. And you can see here right away, my button has been added and here it is right there in the top. Now, if I need to go in and customize this, this actually looks like a page builder. I can go in here, I can link my button, uh, I can add my button text. And then over here on the design, I can start adding all my colors. So let's say I'm not keen on the border radius. I can just go in and add uh, maybe zero here and all the values are now updated. And here is my button. Now we also have more options here. In fact, we have our sticky header options. We can add all our custom colors. And the cool thing is while you're setting up your header, you can actually see what is going on over here on the top. So let's say you wanted to add something here on uh, the secondary menu. These are all the options that you can go in and add. So for example, let's say I want to add a search. I can just do that. And in a moment, you're going to notice that now we have a search here on the top. And if we click on this little icon, we can go in and start designing it. So I can add my icon color. I can add my box background color. If you want to get rid of anything, you can just delete it like that. Now, when it comes to Divi, you would have to create the header in the theme builder itself. 
Now, my favorite setting here is the global container. So here we can customize how we want our containers to look. So this is the side normal uh, full width layout, but I can go with fluid. So fluid here adjust based on the screen size. And I really like this because I don't have to go in and customize uh, all the settings. Now, this is the side layout. Over here, we also have the container layout. So this is normal, this is full width. So you can go in and customize the narrow width here. We can customize the box and so on. Now, while we're on global here, we also have accessibility. So you can go in and uh, customize your colors for the input highlights and the global highlights as well. Now, further down here, you can be very specific with how you want your website to look. So for example, if you come over here to the page and you want to target single pages, you can really go in here and say, okay, you want a page title, or if you don't need a page title, you can disable it here. And also we have the container. If you wanna go with full width, you can select your full width here. And we also have the option to go into the design options and add all our paddings. So everything is done way ahead of time before you start designing your website with the actual page builder. So I really like uh, the flexibility of this. Now, when we go to a specific page, check this out. I can now click on Astra and now we have our container layout. So for this specific page, I can go in and choose full width, I can choose normal, I can choose narrow, I can really go with whatever layout that I want over here. Over here on the sidebar, I can choose no sidebar, I can also go into and disable my elements. So let's say I need to disable my header. I can just go in and do that. Maybe this is an opt-in page. I can just go in and disable that, disable the footer. And we also have advanced settings. Now look at that. I can go in here and disable primary header, disable mobile header, and there's more here I can play around with. So we also have sticky header, transparent header, and so on. So all this can be customized on this particular page. So as you can see, we have way more power when it comes to customize, customizing our actual website that we are building. The other feature that the Astro Pro theme has up its sleeves is over here. It has templates for easy digital downloads, learn dash, uh, and also Lifter LMS. So if you uh, if you have uh, these plugins on your website, it has a decent layout for you where you don't have to go in and start customizing heavily to make your website look outside out of the box. This will look really, really nice. So I really like uh, this integration here. There's also WooCommerce. So if you're struggling with designing your, your WooCommerce shop, again, this is going to help you a lot. Now there's also an option here called white label. So if you're a design agency, this is fantastic. So you can go in here, add your agency author name. You can add your agency author URL and, of, and also your agency license link. Now over here, you can create your own theme and add your own branding as if you are the one who's actually created this theme. So let's say I've gone in, I've customized pretty much everything. I can call this, let's say, Mac agency, for example, and this becomes my a theme name. I can give this a theme description. I can add a screenshot and pretty much I'm good to go. So this plugin, I can give it a name. I can give it a description and save. So all you have to do for this is to activate it here. So as you're designing websites for your clients, this can be your starting point. So this now will be installed on all your uh, clients' websites. So if you really want to be serious with designing websites for your clients and you're a small uh, design agency or design agency, this feature is really cool. You can really customize and make things look like pretty much your own with this white labeling. Anywhere where it says Astra or Astra Pro, it will re be replaced with your agency name. How cool is that? All right, over here on the performance, you can have um, your fonts, your fonts, Loading locally, that's going to make your website super fast rather than trying to, uh, you know, get the fonts from the Google repository. If you just download the fonts and let them load locally from your own website, this increases the speed of your website. So here you can do all your settings by activating all this. Now let's talk about the site builder. So over here on the site builder, so this will be equivalent to the DV theme builder. So you can Come over here, customize your header, your footer, your hooks, uh, inside your postal page, single archive, and your 404 page. And here are the links as well. So at this point, you're probably thinking, well, this is great news. Mac has stopped using Divi. Well, I am still using Divi, but 
as a plugin. So if you take a look here at your members dashboard, normally people download the DV theme because the theme itself also comes with the builder. And this is what I was talking about in this video. The theme is the oldest part of the DV theme. <laughs> so I know it's not very clear. So the theme and the builder is all packaged into, into one. So the theme part is what I'm saying is no way close in terms of features to Astro Pro. No way close. Astro Pro is way ahead. Okay. So if you wanted a builder to work with Astro Pro, this is where you'd need to come over here and download the DV Builder plugin. Okay. So this comes in without the theme itself. So for this to work now, it's just going to be customizing my pages without going to the theme itself because I'm using Astro Pro. So how does that work? So over here, you can see I've installed the DV uh, Builder as a plugin, which is this right here. So now I'm not using the DV theme anymore. I'm using the Astro Pro settings, which I've been showing you um, a moment ago. So now when we come to all pages, or if we create a new page, we're going to give this page a name. And then now I can say use DV Builder. So here I have access to my theme builder. I can design my websites how I normally would. I can go in there. All my modules are ready for me. But what's running this website is the Astra Pro theme. Why? Because it has all the features that I need and it's way more powerful than the DV theme itself. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.